Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. A new massive attack occurred on Kiev, and not only. Mr. Klitschko, uh, the mayor of Kiev, showed up again, or at least he made some uh, statements after, I don't know, about uh, two months of disappearance. I don't know where he was, but uh, I'm glad he that he's alive and doing well. So what happened? The Ukrainians uh, say they defended a massive drone attack on Kiev like never before. And uh, surprise, surprise, they also claim they destroyed all the drones that were uh, launched on Kiev. I do not believe that. But uh, as I say, always say, is it possible? It's possible. It's probable? No. Now, let's see how the Ukrainians report this massive attack. As uh, uh, Klitschko says, the largest assault on Kiev by Russia since the start of the invasion. All right, but no damages. The only damages that occurred, I have to break the news for you, were from the debris that just fell on cars, on buildings. People died. Buildings were, were destroyed, but that's only for the, from the debris, you know, so you do you 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 And they destroy everything, you know, I mean really If you have been born yesterday, uh, probably that would work, but uh, for uh, The rest of us, I don't think so. So let's see what these guys report. I have about five articles Regarding this issue and I'm starting with a new voice of Ukraine where we have Klitschko <laughs> Klitschko says overnight air raid was largest assault on Kiev by Russia since start of invasion. And it was zero, didn't mean anything, as you can tell. Nothing happened. It just, uh, or maybe this is from 20 years ago. Now, this article is from May 8, 2023. Now, I look over this, you see, I know where Kiev is located. And I look at this, they are pretty green right here. I don't know. I'm just, it's an observation. Where I live and where other people that I know live uh, in Romania, uh, this is not there yet. The foliage. But anyway, what do I know? It's just an observation, okay? Russia uh, launched the most mass massive attack on Kiev since the beginning of the full scale war in early hours of May 8. Mayor, Mayor Vitali Klitschko said the Kiev Municipal Television Channel. All right, this was, and I'm calling, this was the most massive attack on our city since the beginning of the war, Klitschko said. Okay, now, this is the important thing. All of the drones were shut down. Thanks to our air defenses, no one was killed. <laughs> okay, five people were wounded. Their lives are not in danger. There is damage to the residential buildings, kindergartens, and schools. <laughs> Why? Because those drones, uh, debris, just happened to fall over these things, kindergartens, schools, and residential buildings. Uh, yes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, the city will do everything possible to repair the housing as soon as possible. To those, to the, today, safety is the most important issue, the mayor stressed. And we are going to take care of your thing. So, in the early hours of May 8, a total of 35 incoming Iranian-built UAVs were detected and destroyed as the, the entered Kiev. They entered Kiev's airspace in waves. Five people were injured and the wreckage fell on the residential building and the runway of Zuliani Airport. The air raid alert lasted over three and a half hours. So... The conclusion is this from the first article, 35 um, Russian drones, none of them reached any targets, but somehow they destroyed kindergartens, uh, schools and um, whatever residential buildings over there. Was it at schools? I don't want to say things like, uh, you know what I mean? Kindergartens and schools, yes, and uh, residential buildings. Uh, only those, you know, only those. And uh, that's good, man. It's good to know that now you're safe. That means send more of the same to each and every um, city in Ukraine, so get to work, and that would um, result in a 100% success rate against these raids. Now, this is the first article. Let's move to the other ones. 
because this is from uh, Ukrainska Pravda. We moved the move to Russia here. Uh, launched another large-scale strike against Ukraine, injuring at least five in Kiev. This is the Kiev Independent from May 7th. And the same, uh, at, least seven, uh, at least five people were wounded. Three people were inj injured in blasts. All right. Transfer, uh, transfer to the hospital. It's all the, the, the breeze. The breeze also fell in central blah, blah, blah district. A high-pressure gas pipe is damaged as a result of the attacks. <laughs> I don't you believe that the breeze just fell on the high pressure gas by just like by, by chance. Uh, the, a parked car caught fire. This is only what happened here. So let's go to the next one, which is from the new voice of Ukraine. Russia launched 35 drones at Kiev in three hours overnight. Injuries and damage reported. So again, pop, 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 again, we have here the debris, falling debris. All right, from the shutdowns, loud explosions were heard in the western part of the capital, along with sounds of anti-aircraft cannons and the buzzing of the kamikaze drone's petrol engine. Oh my god, these are still in the 1890 or something. All right, so this is what it was, uh, it says, since the beginning of May alone, in the first eight days of the month, the, the Russians have already carried out four airstrikes, four attacks, during the last air alert which lasted more than three and a half hours, the aggressor attacked it UAs, UAVs. According to preliminary information, Iranian drones, barrage ammunition targeted the capital from different directions. More than 30 enemy drones were detected and shot down in Kiev airspace. We thank our air defense. Once again, our warriors have done a great job. Okay, drone flat fragments fell over residential buildings. A car caught fire, fragments, all right, here they did what they did. Let's move to the last article. Reuters, Ukraine military says all 35 drones Russia launched overnight destroyed. Okay, and with the same, the same thing we find that um, uh, the Russians also launched some other um, missile strikes around uh, the country. It added that in addition 61 strike, strikes and 52 attacks from the heavier Rocket salvo fired systems were launched over the past day on the positions of Ukrainian forces and populated areas. So it was not only that. So, um, not only the drones in Kiev. So, you make uh, your own uh, mind to if you um, believe that uh, none of those drones um, reached their targets, but you also have to accept that those drones were blown coming and from 35 i know some of them destroyed schools plural kindergartens plural and obviously residential buildings and a high pressure gas uh, something okay so you got to make up your mind uh, okay from 35 somehow they destroyed uh, kindergartens that's plural that it's at least two all right and then you got at least two um schools because they had a plural and then residential buildings could be the rest of them because they didn't hit any military targets why because they hit them in the air good job but on the other hand klishko tells us that this was the most massive isn't that how, how he said largest assault on kiev but unsuccessful a car was just damaged you know from the debris and all that good luck with that as I said, it's not impossible. It is possible. That means it could happen that they destroyed all 35. Is this probable? What do you think? I don't think so. Uh, I think um, probably a few drones, uh, at least few drones uh, damaged whatever they damaged. Uh, but I, I take this as happening 100% only if the drones that somehow came to Kiev undetected so they flew from Russia undetected and then they got to, uh, to Kiev and only there they were attacked by the air defenses. Okay, well, let's give it that. Now, it's like you go and fight, all right? Let's say you go fight one-on-one -on -one. and each and every fight that you get into, you knock the person out. Each and every one. Let's say you have about uh, 35 fights one after another. What would you say? that definitely says that's not luck and that is you are so good compared with those guys that they are not match for you 
The same here. If these guys dropped all the 35 drones, that tells me the Ukrainian, the American uh, uh, provided uh, weapons are so fantastic compared with the ugly drones that the Russians are sending with the petrol. You know how you start a lawnmower? That's how they, or a druzhba, you know, a chainsaw. That's how they, uh, the Russians start their uh, drones. Or maybe they put, a, you know, let's uh, start them with a little uh, jumping cables. Okay, they're on. And then after they flew, they came over there. They were so noisy and so, maybe they have flashes of light. Hey, we're here, boys. Shoot us. So the difference between what the Ukrainians had and what the Russians sent was so great that all of them, none of them was, could withstand the uh, wrath of the uh, Patriot and whatever. Please. Uh, this is again to portray that Russians are just backward, stupid and whatever. I don't believe that. Why? After all, they still send uh, rockets uh, in space, and uh, you know what I mean. It's just, they, uh, after all, they're the, the first ones who had uh, hypersonic missiles. <clears throat> you know, they still build, uh, you know, uh, fifth generation, sixth generation, I think, right now, uh, uh, fighters. But hey, they stole it from the Americans. All that, even if they're first, but they we're so fast of putting it over there that they just cut the line, because everything comes from here. Everything, everything good, I must add. Everything bad, from there. Please, man. I mean, this is childish, childish, infantile propaganda. But it works. It works with many people. How can you figure it out? Go and talk uh, with people around you. I'm not talking about family. Go to work. Go to, I don't know, to store, to the park. Get engaged in a conversation and see. And you say, oh, this guy would just hang me right here if he could. Oh, this guy would put me in a concentration camp. Yesterday, I met this kind of people, so I'm pretty sure you did the same thing. Thank you very much for you met the same kind I'm talking about. Uh, if you want, just watch Mark Dice, that uh, funny guy from California, in his interviews when he goes on the beach and he goes on the street in California and he interviews people and asks them questions. What should they do with people who are not? And he says, do you think they should be put in camps to, so we can show them? He's funny. He makes it funny. And the idiots don't know. And they answer, yes, I think they should be under. Those people would do it with no problem. So uh, there are a lot of those among us. <laughs> Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong. Stay smart. Look for the truth and be just.